So while we check the horses tonight, we're going to talk about private partnerships. We've got a few here that belong to private partnerships, and at the end, we're going to tell you about how you can get involved in a private partnership. Even though Luke likes coming with us, he doesn't like getting out of the car because he's scared of horses. <laughs> But he likes the adventure. So Ronnie's here to keep the mice at bay. But every now and then he gathers a new friend and brings them along for the fun. <laughs> At the end of the day, the more cats, the less mice, so we don't mind. This is Break the Rules. She was a winner last time out. She belongs to Bob Clark and Partners. And although she doesn't really love visitors, she's quite fragile, which is why she hasn't run very much. But she's back in tip-top condition. This is Cammy. she doesn't belong to any partnership. <laughs> She's so big, I can't get over how big she is. Yeah, I think she's grown since I last saw her. <sighs> this is Angry Alan. <laughs> or Ozzy's <laughs> dancer. Yeah. Called Angry Alan for very obvious reasons. He's not very sociable. <laughs> I've got him in a good mood. <laughs> Mr Tickle. He's the opposite of Angry Alan. He's one of the friendliest horses. Very timid. Aren't you, boy? Got him from Ireland after he won a point to point over there. He's had a good season so far, hurdling. He's having a little break for the summer and then he'll be chasing next season. We think he's got a big future ahead of him, don't we, fella? He's a dude, aren't you? Yes, very soft. This is affluence. Not only bred by yours truly, but he is owned by a private partnership. The Affluence Partnership. How many people are in that? There's six or seven people that got together to buy him at the sales a year and a half ago. And he's done incredibly well since. He's been placed several times. He's won a race. He's been placed on the flat and over hurdles. <laughs> and although he's a winner on the flat, he's starting to look like he might be an even better horse over hurdles. So mm. He's only four, which is quite young for a jumper. So. Lots more fun to be had with you, aren't there, boy? Money. Alia Torek, his affluence's younger brother, also owned by a partnership. Now, this one nearly killed me a year and a half ago. <laughs> okay. But then he's been gelded since he nearly killed me, so. What happened? Um, well, he was very quick. And he was very determined at getting rid of people when he was a young, young horse, when he was very first ridden. And when I was riding him home one day, he was all nice and relaxed and rather tired after his canter. And then out of nowhere, I think a leaf blew on the ground. and Very scary leaf. A very scary <laughs> leaf. And it spooked him so much that he went from one mile an hour to about 50 mile an hour in three strides. And then the very next stride, he stuck his head between his knees and slammed on the brakes. So I duly went flying over the front and did a little roly-poly at about 50 mile an hour on the road. Wow, concrete. Yep. So, he he's owes got, me. He's got one person left on seat. Yeah, Jay. Jay. He's the only one who's ridden him and hasn't fallen he's off him. He's coming after you, Jay. Give it time. <laughs> hey boy, yes. And how did you set up your partnership with him then? He was, well, I owned him myself because I bred him and... One of my previous owners from another partnership that had Sophia and Menina back in the day, Phil Brooks was looking out for a share in something else, so Phil Brooks and his son, Philip Jr., decided to take a share in this horse with me. So Freddie's latest acquisition in Bob Clark and Partners is an unraced four-year-old. He's quite well bred for a bumper horse, although he was bred as a flat horse, clearly that's not what he's turned into, so he's been given lots of time. 
and we'll be ready in the early national hunt season, won't you, fella? He's your ride, though, isn't he? I do ride him. He's quite yeah. big. It's a tricky one. It takes being a heavy rider. <laughs> it takes a big, strong horse to carry me. But Freddie here is as big and strong as they come. He might not be very quick, but that doesn't mean he's no good. Which we're all going to show them, isn't it? Me. Hey. So you've got how many horses in partnership? Now? We've got five horses in partnerships here yeah. of the twelve we train. How to get involved in the partnership then? The way to get involved in a partnership is to get in touch with us, and we'll do the rest. We try and put partners together who have similar interests, whether it's flat racing or jump racing. And with the July sales coming up in a couple of weeks, we're actually forming a new partnership right now. So anybody who's interested in that, get in touch. And how is a partnership different from a syndicate? Well, syndicates are a great way of getting involved at a low price, but with syndicates, you don't get much of a say on what goes on. And some syndicates you don't even actually own a share of the horse so with a partnership you're fully involved you actually own your share of the horse and you're not paying a syndicate manager to make all the decisions so partnerships are great for people who have had a share in a syndicate before and have realized this is what they want to do but they want to take it a bit further without taking on the full cost so so with the july sales coming up we're going to start a new partnership and anybody that's looking to get involved should probably get in touch with us by the end of the month. We'll get everybody together, find out exactly what it is everybody's interested in, what kind of horse we're going to look for. They don't have to cost a lot of money. Tiger Roll only cost 10,000 and went on and won two Grand Nationals. So it's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. All our details will be in the description below, so anybody who's interested in joining our next private partnership can get in touch and then we'll meet up and then it'll be off to the sales to find the next new team member of Martin Smith Racing. Think, Isn't it? I mean, <laughs> stop trying to eat me. Stop <laughs> it. Very good horse. <laughs> Oi. Behave. The most suitable horse to do this with, you know that. And that's a very noisy Roman river. Find a, a young horse with. Let's talk to him. <laughs>